Now here we need to look at the potential difference across all of the resistors in the circuit below. And it says that from the table here that resistor 3 has a potential difference of 4.5 volts across it. Now, um, the way we're going to do this, I'm just going to mark onto my diagram any kind of values of potential difference that I realise. Now, the first part at the top is like a little loop of a circuit. So we've got a cell that has a value of 6 volts, and there's only one resistor in this loop of the circuit. And that means that across resistor 1, the value of the potential difference is also going to be equal to 6.0 volts. So the value for 1 is equal to 6.0. Now, this, uh, there's another loop here that we can think about, and it's a parallel loop, but you've got a, a cell here of 6 volts, and it can go through this resistor and around here. And again, the potential difference across this loop in the parallel circuit is going to be the same as the potential difference across that loop. So that's 6. The value across R2 is also 6.0 volts. And now for the last one, there's also going to be a value of 6 volts across these two resistors, but this one's already got 4.5 volts, so that means there's got to be a value of 1.5 volts left across R4, because that potential difference plus that potential difference must equal a potential difference across a cell. So that's why R4 is equal to 1.5 volts.